Okay, welcome back. Uh, we have two ways to go. Let's go this way. I don't know. I don't care. Let's just go. Oh my god. Why couldn't, why couldn't I, like, uh, go across that little, like, edge or whatever? Okay, was it this way? It was right here, right? Oh my gosh, boy. Okay, let's go down because that other room sucks. Hey, look at that. I can't, like, fall in. I immediately like this room more. Um, yeah, by the way, uh, remember how I was gonna go back and hit that crystal thing? Uh, you know, the crystal that you can hit with all kinds of stuff. You can hit it with a boomerang, you can hit it with a bomb, you can hit it with a pot. Like, you can activate it with all kinds of stuff, including the sword. Uh, or so I thought. Uh, I went all the way back, through all that fireball, through all that fire bar bullshit, and got all the way there, uh, hit the crystal, went all the way back, uh, only to realize that the crystal was not hit. It was hit, but apparently I hit it with the wrong part of the sword. Uh, you can hit it with the edge of the sword, but not with the tip of the sword. I, like, dashed into it and didn't realize that it didn't activate till I went all the way back. And I was like, God damn it, so I had to go all the way back again. So I ended up having to go through that area three freaking times. It's completely ridiculous. So it's like, yeah, no, it's fine. It's great. I'll just, I'll just go through it over and over again. I don't I thought that maybe I mean I don't know. Can you program it to where uh you can bomb on like the on the side? I think you do you do that in the original? I actually don't remember. Uh okay, so is there nothing here? I I mean there has to be something here, right? But uh, anyway, yeah, super ridiculous. So yeah, I'm already I can feel the uh I can't hit that. Alright. I have a feeling that uh, by the end of this game, I'm just gonna be a big old ball of sass. I can feel, I can feel the, um, I can feel the sass starting to bubble up. So, uh, yeah, so uh, like I can't make any promises. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not just gonna necessarily put on a happy face and pretend like I'm enjoying myself when the game is just throwing bullshit after bullshit at me, you know? Um. Then again, I don't know. I figure, like, the next dungeon couldn't possibly be worse than this one, right? Am I am I gonna eat those words? Ugh. Okay, what is going on here? What am I supposed to do? Was there any thing in that other room? Could I not? Okay, well, let's go in and try to not fall, I suppose. But god dang, they're just like taking combinations of elements and they're just like, okay, well, what's like the most annoying way we could like combine all these elements or whatever. Oh, let's make it dark and fire bars, and you have to walk in a straight path. Okay, so oh, I can do that. Okay, that's not useful. That's a that's how you get back. Um. Okay, well I believe I have to fall now, right? Do I have to do something like uh, hit the switch? Oh, wait, no, I can't. I can't uh, hit the switch and then go through the door. Oh, am I already stuck again? What the frick, man? Yeah, the crystal's in this other room. If I hit this crystal... Then I can't, uh... I can't get to that other room. Also, this, like, little, like, carpeted area is, like, suspicious. I thought it'd be like Lufia, where you could like, uh, Lufia 2 or whatever, where you could like, this is the kind of puzzle where like, you never push these, but just this one time you can like, push them. Yeah, Lufia 2 had a lot of puzzles where, where there's like, rules for that one room, and then it's like, never, then those like, mechanics or whatever are like, never used again. Uh, okay, well, I mean, I'd rather have this than the fire bars, but... Eventually, I'm gonna want to like make progress. Man, let's take a whole heart. Yeah, I can't uh, do anything about this. I don't have the big key, do I? I do not. Um. 
am I supposed to have it? Do I have to light all four torches? Oh, I thought that one was going to get me. Okay, so that did... That did something. At least that one gave me a, um... A, uh, a confirmation uh, noise, so that's actually nice. Like grasping at straws to like compliment the game. <laughs> no, it's definitely a ball breaker of a game. Like we're gonna get to the point. I mean, there's a balance between like, like challenge and like, I don't know. I feel like this dungeon's like not fun, but uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that that they're not gonna be fun from now on. This could just be like one BS dungeon, you know. Okay, so I was expecting a chest to be here. Wasn't that the whole point? Or did it reset because I, uh... Did it reset because I, like, fell down or whatever? Okay, let's hit it and then go back. This time, before falling. Okay. Okay. Uh, I was about to say, it has to be the big key, a uh, big uh, chest key. All right. Uh, okay, so what could it possibly be? Uh, mirror shield would to help me block those stupid beams would be nice. Can I even access the big uh, uh, chest key with the thing uh, turned this way or whatever? Or are they gonna be uh? Those like you know what I think those I think the orange blocks are gonna be like different right or you know what I mean it's gonna the, like there's gonna be things like blocking the uh oh geez I can't go down and hit it and then come back out oh my god please tell me that the game is not gonna make me go through that whole area a fourth time oh man I don't know was three not enough game. Oh, man, maybe it won't be the case. I'm pretty sure, like, how many times have I gone that way? That's the wrong way, isn't it? Watch it be the right way, because of course it's going to be. Oh, my God, look at that. Of course it was. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay, boy. Oh, look at that. What did I tell you? Unfucking real Okay, so I mean, I guess uh, I'll just go and do it and uh, come back and yeah, so yeah Here check it out Yeah, see it doesn't you have to hit it with the with the blade part of your sword not the tip Okay, whatever game Okay all the way back. Yay. Oh my god, I just realized, uh, if I want to reset the thing, I could have just used the book. No, I did it like, I did it all like wrong. Uh, this time I could have used the book. I didn't actually even have to go back. Uh, okay, whatever. Grab the stupid fairies again, and I will open the thing. Okay, let's open it. What do we got? Oh, uh, the hook shot. All right, cool. Um... How does that help me in this dungeon, though? Hmm. And apparently, uh, Mr. Saturn wrote the uh, wrote the text for that too. Oh, geez, what do I need the? Oh, I bet I know what I needed for. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I can hook onto these blocks. Yeah, actually, I don't think I ever knew that. You can hook onto like a bunch of stuff in this game, but I think I could you actually do it in the base game? But I need to do it. There was a gap with a single uh, jam on it. Oh my god! But I do have to go back and reset it and hit the thing so I can go through this left door. 
So how many how many times are we up to of me having to go through that area? This is now the fifth time? Uh, well, in all fairness... Wait, which way do, do I need to go? Oh, this way. In all fairness, uh, going back isn't that hard because all the guys you killed uh, stayed dead. But uh, since I reset it, they probably all are going to respawn now. Okay, we'll go and do it again. It's just like the backtrack dungeon. Okay, is fifth time the charm? Are they gonna are they gonna let me like progress now, or is five times going through here like not enough? How many like times are they gonna like make me do this? Okay, let's get our butt in here. Jeez, man, I can't believe they make you do that so many times. I guess I already said it, but you have to go through it enough times when you're not also going through extra times that you don't even have to go through. What the? Okay, so now we gotta deal with this guy, with the pit. Is that gonna be like the new thing the game does? It's like, oh, now do it with the pit. Okay, I don't think this will be too bad unless there's something that I'm unaware of that's gonna happen. Can't you also use bombs against this uh, dude's mask? I think I watched a Let's Play of it, and they're like, oh, you can use this other thing. It's, like, better or whatever. Does the hookshot work on this? Man, I kind of don't want to... Yeah. It's kind of a good thing that it doesn't work very well. Because you have to stand still for a super long time to use it. Uh, also, did the sword not work? Am I tripping? You have to use a spinny slash? No. My gosh. Did I save state before I... Oh, I saved stated before I uh, started. Oh, you know what I mean, right? Before I, like, welcomed back or whatever. What's the term for that? <laughs> God. Wow, you gotta be all up. You gotta be, like, all up in his face for it to count. Yeah, I feel like we're getting lucky with RNG. He hasn't spit any uh, jams out lately. Oh my god, we got him. How, uh, was that a glitch? If you die with the fairy, does he not, is he like, is there some glitch where he doesn't uh, spit the jams out anymore? No reward, maybe you should go back to the church. Okay, thank you, narrator. Uh, okay, so, oh, this dropped me back in the fairy room? Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, so uh, I guess we're going back to the, uh, to the church. So he's just gonna be like, oh, I had it with me the whole time. Yeah, sorry about making you go in there. Oh, god dang it. Ferrari, your aisle sucks. Did I mention that? Yeah, this dungeon was balls, dude. There's that part of me that's like, the next dungeon can't possibly be worse. Like, there can't possibly be any dungeon worse than that. But I, but there's going to be, isn't there? Uh, okay, so I guess uh, let's me back at the... Actually, you know what? There was a path uh, that I didn't go. From the start, I did not go left. Let's uh, check out what's there, and then we'll meet back at the church. Okay, let's see what's uh, over here. Yeah, I don't think I could. If I pick up that rock, I know that that guy's gonna hit me. Okay, let's not run into these guys. Usually, I'm pretty sure in the base game you run into these guys. Uh, and you go into like the dark world, so you normally have like more hearts. Yeah, the, uh, touching those guys does two hearts. So I know, like in the other episode. I was, like, running into them, like, all willy-nilly. I should have been, like, super careful to not touch them. Huh. Okay, I'm suspicious about this. Are there, like, spots... ...where I can, like, hookshot to, but I just can't see what I'm grabbing? Because that would be sneaky. Aha! Oh, was the pot so I could, uh, go back? 
Uh, okay, well. Alright, nice. Okay, well, a room with money is nice. I'd prefer a room with hearts, actually. Plus, now I got all this freaking money. Like, am I gonna... Like, are they gonna give you something to spend it on at some point? Or do they just... Are they just gonna let you accumulate a whole bunch of money? That way, when you uh, throw it into the fairy fountain, you can upgrade your... Uh, your, like, max capacity of bombs and arrows, like, more easily. Like, you can... You can hold, uh, like, a bunch more or whatever. So you don't have to... You can do it all at once or whatever without having to leave and come back once you get 999 again. Okay, so, uh, heart piece. Um, that would have been suspicious. Uh, for them to, to have that just lead to a spike room. So I think the fact that, um, the way that was set up, hopefully would make you actually look... Man, I did the same thing I just said to not do. Okay, so uh, let's meet back at the church and get our uh, and get our reward, I guess. It'd be nice if you would like give me a heart container too. You'd be like, oh, you haven't been getting heart containers from the dungeons. Well, here's you know here's the three that you should have gotten. Oh, this is why they put those pots here. You can hook shot across and go through that room more easily. Okay, that's cool, I guess. I would prefer to if there was a way to go through this room more easily. This room is like more balls than the snake room. Okay, actually the hook shot is making this room easier too. Because I can hit them without bouncing back and I can knock them into the pit or whatever. Oh look, the uh, the hook shot freezes, freezes these guys for longer. That's kind of cool. Also, it kills those guys in one hit. Don't, don't those guys take more than one sword hit? So that is pretty cool how they're making the uh, the hook shot be like more effective. Thomas, I'm sorry they found out Zelda was hiding here and took her. I thought you said it was the safest place in like the freaking world, didn't you say that? Uh, forget the Master Sword. The Smiths have agreed to help us go to them, then go to the castle and save Zelda. Stop Dragor once and for all. Dead. Okay. Okay. So when he first said forget about the Master Sword, I was like, is this like a uh? Situation like that, uh, like that girl in uh, in Earthbound, where they try to they try to get you to to stop your moo training or whatever. But uh, apparently, he did tell me where to go, so it's just uh, head there. It's actually it's it's right there, right? We've already been there, so uh, we'll be right back. Okay, we're here. Uh, yeah. Oh, jeez, I thought we were gonna have to. Um, hey, you, welcome. Uh, temper my sword. Uh, okay. Uh, why would you not say yes? Okay, we have to keep your sword for a while. Hopefully it's just like the two minutes or whatever. Um, didn't they say that like one of his brothers was gone? I thought that there, I had a feeling that they were gonna, um, be like, oh, I'd love to help you, but I need my brother. He's over in this other area far away and you have to go through a bunch of bullshit to rescue him. Then we'll help you. But uh, if he's just gonna, I guess he's just back or whatever. Yeah, that's kind of weird. That's normally not a thing. Normally when somebody's missing, we have to go get them. They don't just return on their own. Okay, so I guess uh, we'll just hang out for a few minutes. And uh, we'll go back in and see if uh, see if the two-minute thing... Actually, let me just check right now. Are you done yet? Hurry up! Okay, I'll wait a few minutes and we'll go back in and we'll check and see if maybe... Uh, maybe the Master Sword will be like the level 3 sword. And we're just going to get the level 2 sword for now. That'd actually be kind of cool. But uh, anyway, yeah, we'll be right back. Okay, shoo. Yeah, I left the screen uh, sort of stronger. The sword will be strong enough to beat Dragor. Can I go into the... Uh... Oh, man, it's like larger. That's kind of cool. It has like a little sparkle on it. That's neat. Um. So it's said to go to Hyrule Castle. Can I destroy the, uh, the thing blocking the door? In the original, you need the... Uh... You need the Master Sword to to break the seal or whatever. But uh, it said to do it, so I guess... Uh, I guess let's uh, go do it. Hey, check it out. Now we have the level 0. 0.2 sword. Why did they put a decimal point there? <laughs> that looks like the uh, the sword icon from uh, Robotrek, doesn't it? Okay, anyway, let's meet back at the uh, castle. And uh, we'll destroy the, uh, the, the uh, little seal 
barrier thing and we'll go inside. So we'll be right back. Okay, it worked. I mean, I knew it'd work. They told us to come here. Okay, Dragor's Castle. All right. What are we in store for? What are we in... What, like, what are we in store for? That sounds... That sounds, uh, that sounds weird. Okay, anyway... Um, okay, so if I go up, are they gonna be, like, dead end right away? Okay, we're definitely gonna be using the, uh... The hook shot probably a lot in this area. Um, I, I kind of don't like how you have to stand still for so long. Uh, to cast it, or to, uh, to shoot it. By the way, how do they know that the sword is going to be strong enough to defeat Dragor? And if it is strong enough to defeat him, why didn't, uh, why didn't we just wait for that dude to come back and then have him just do the sword, like, right off the bat? Okay, so it's possible that this is just going to be, like, a straight shot. Uh, like in the base game. It's just going to be a bunch of rooms. Oh, god damn it! why is your castle dark? Just go. Oh, yay, cool. Man, I feel like having these, like, beam dudes where, like, your mobility is, like, limited, it, it just makes it seem, like, cheap. Okay, is there even any reason to, like, go down here? Was there any reason to go up? Uh, well, I have to check this pot. There could be a key in it. Uh, nope. Okay, luckily I thought to push that block. I can imagine at least a few Let's Players were, like, stuck and couldn't figure out what to do. I don't know, a lot of times when I play stuff, like, I just try to imagine, like, what other Let's Players got, like, stuck on, you know? Or, like, what hung them up. Why does the fairy turn orange, by the way? It's weird. Okay, well, we're, like, 60 seconds into into this area. I already used the fairy, so that's cool. We also have to uh, hit all the pots. There could be a button under any of them. Actually, uh, that probably didn't take too long to figure out, because when the door is locked, and there's only, like, one block to push, it would be pretty easy to figure out that you got to push the one block uh, to open the door. My gosh, hookshot doesn't work on those guys. Okay, well, do I need to kill them? They could have a key. If there's any area where an enemy drops a key, that like this would be it. Uh, nope. Oh my god, the pit! Dude, why? I hit him straight on. Okay, well, I don't even want to, like, do that. Also, this is, like, super narrow. It's, like, half a tile. If I stand here... Oh, wait, no, I can't hook shot. The thing's in the way. Oh, and you catch it. And you catch on to it, apparently. All right. So, yeah, that was stupid of me. Just go in there, please. Yeah, the pits and the... Uh, I don't know the name of the enemies, but the, the spinny... The dudes with the spinny eyes that just, like, laser shoot you or whatever. That just, like, shoot the beams at you. It's just, like, cheap. And they're just like, oh, this is... It's, like, a cheap way to add, like, to increase the difficulty. Let's just do that. Like, all the time. That'll be fun, right? Uh, okay, so I'm guessing that's that's just the, uh, the door to go back. But uh, why would we ever need to go back? We're gonna get to the end, and we're gonna defeat him, and then we're gonna hopefully get warped out. Oh, man, are we getting close? Uh, you know what? I'm tempted to save state. Let's save state it here. Wow. Uh, which one was it? This one? God damn it. 
I did save state it, right? Oh, I was in the pause menu. I just forgot. Okay. Because, yeah, the fact that there's uh, two things here, two thrones, makes it seem like we're maybe, like, one room away. Dude. Man, I said dude, like, 50 times in the last episode. <laughs> Oh, by the way, uh, I was going to say this in the last episode, but I didn't get around to it. I started saying it. Oh, god damn. Of course, what do you want to bet he was going to die in, like, one hit? But uh, I was going to, like, I started saying it, but I didn't, I didn't get around to it. For those of you that are, like, super hardcore fans that, like, pay attention to everything I say. I was like, in other news, and I didn't finish. Uh, the thing I was going to say is that, um... I got a bid for fifth shift, which is, uh, so I'll be working, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for 12 hours a day. Uh, so it's 36 hours, but you get paid for 40. So plus I'll have, um, I'll be off Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Uh, there's no promise that I'll stay on it. Last time I, last time I bid, uh, I did it for one day, and then I washed out and went back. So there's no promise that that'll be... Uh, permanent. Also, it's in machining. For the past six years, I've been working in assembly, so it's a new, like, category of work. So I figured, uh, yeah, October is, like, six years. At the end of this month will be six years, so I've been doing the same kind of work for a long time. Oh, just, yeah, I hit the thing, like, out of mid- uh, like, out of midair. It's kind of cool. I didn't know you could do that. Wow. Oh, goddamn. I'm gonna have to, uh, save state after this room. So, yeah, I'm gonna have four days off. Uh, I've worked 12-hour shifts before. It does suck, because then you have 12 hours before your next shift starts, and then eight hours of it is, like, sleeping. So, like, anything you do. So, you basically got four hours to work with. So, like, driving home, and, like, getting something to eat, and, like, you know, going to yoga, you know, taking a shower, jacking off, you know, all those things come out of your four hours. And then, plus, you don't wake up instantly at work. So the time you spend the next day, um, the time you spend the next day getting up and getting ready to go to work and driving to work, that also counts towards that four hours. So you really don't have, you basically, when it's all said and done, you're going to have about two hours of, uh, of time between shifts, which does suck, but, uh, you're only going to have to do that flip or whatever, uh, twice per week. Uh, cause the first time you do it, you're coming off of having four days off. So you're all like refreshed and whatnot. So then you turn right around and come back uh, in 12 hours between the first and the second shift. And then you do it again between, oh my gosh, every time you swing the sword, they all shoot. Actually, let's just throw pots at them. Uh, so you do it between the first and second shift. You do it between the second and third shift. And then after the third shift, you have four more days off. So I figure I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to, like, bite the bullet or take the hit or whatever two times per week. Oh, man, the guy's very aggressive. Okay, I'm not sure if he has a key, but... But I don't know, so let's just go. Wow, what a dick move. Dude! Wow. Is there no way to not get hit right there? I'm pretty sure there was no way to get hit in the stupid, uh, Ferrari's aisle, too. So yeah, freaking, oh my gosh, I have to do this again. I might just save state after every room. I might just like, just like uh, try to get through every room without getting hit. Cause I'm probably also gonna have to do a boss at the end of this. Oh my gosh, they go almost at the same speed as you. I'm gonna have to like abuse this block to like try to get them caught on it. So, I mean, that might be, I, like I said, I don't know if I'll stick with it or not, but, but, uh, but yeah, times are a-changing. Yeah, actually, um, if you watch my, like, videos, I've actually been keeping, like, up to date on, like, on, like, my job and whatnot. I've gone between first and third shift a couple of times. Okay, save again, yay. Should I even try to kill the I don't know. Man, look at that. Right as I right as I was like 
like going on the staircase or whatever. So it's just random? Why did it why did why did it shoot a fireball like right when I went through the door last time? This time it didn't. I'm guessing it's random. Are they not gonna give me a way to get my health back? Oh my gosh, I I looked down. I looked down to like hit the save state and I heard the fireball. <laughs> Ha, ah, Thomas, I've been waiting for you. Ha, ha, ha. I was hoping I could dispose of Zelda in front of your eyes. Behold! Yeah, go ahead and kill her. I don't give a shit. She friend zoned me anyway, so I don't give a fuck what happens to her. Ho, ho, ho. Do you have a death wish? You can't defeat me without the Master Sword. Uh, but the person said that I could defeat you with this. Uh... Wouldn't it be funny if that guy was like a double agent? He like told me that I could, even though he knew I couldn't. Oh, so you mean to say you would uh, like to be totally destroyed? Well, I can make your wish come true, save state. Wow, dude. Like, and you know what else? You know what's kind of funny? That's not even like the fastest I've died. Uh, like when a boss fight started. I'm pretty sure Bucky O'Hare is still like holds the title. I don't know. That one was probably second place. Okay, can I do this with one hit? It's probably impossible, but god damn. I'm not even gonna get like a good attempt. Dude, I can't stand anywhere. Like I have to stay on the bottom of the screen. If I go anywhere near the top... Okay, so that was the, uh, I had a feeling that was going to be the case. But, like, you can't defeat me with the Master Sword, but I can shoot your jams back at you. Oh, that was lucky. Why do they sometimes shoot so fast? Dude. Wow. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh, that was pure luck. Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. The things fire, like, so fast and randomly sometimes. What the frick? This is total bullshit. How are you supposed to do this? <sighs> okay, well, I don't want to waste any more time. I'll just do it off camera and I'll show the successful attempt. I... <sighs> I might have to move the goalposts and save state between hits. I don't think I've ever... I can't think of another time that I moved the goalpost that much, other than, the, well, the fight with Valsu in Seventh Saga, I saved and reloaded the save state like 50,000 times, but that was a, that was a special case. But uh, okay, I guess I'll show the successful attempt, so we'll be right back.
Okay, I had had enough. This is my first attempt with uh, full hearts and um, and a medicine. Let's see if I can do it. I got to where I could hit him three times, but the but the bullshit was just like too much. I got pretty good at like dodging the fire, but I feel like any like if they would have just there's just like too many elements like like for them to like restrict the size of the room and have the fire turrets. And, like, the fire... It's just me, or do the fireballs travel really fast? I feel like they, like, go too fast. You could have, like, slowed them down. So there's, like, any number of things that they could have done that would have still made it harder, but wouldn't make it completely ridiculous. Okay, we're still... Okay, first hit down only took me this long. Okay, cool. Might need more than one hit. Whatever. Let's try that again. I should be able to get a few hits before needing to use the medicine. But yeah, anytime he's on the bottom of the screen, it like forces me to go to the top. And then the things just like hit you. Or at the very least, they could have made it so he doesn't shoot any of those like blue ones that like disperse. Uh, those only take half a heart, so I was able to get hit twice before I died. But just having it where there's, like, none of those would have also made it, like, would have made it, like, better. More doable. Wow, did I, did I not get hit by the lightning? But, uh, yeah, when he uses the lightning, it forces you at, like, the top corners of the screen. So then you just get hit point blank with the fire turret. You could have had him not ever do the lightning attack. Like, there's, like, so many ways that they could have made this better. Okay, well, you know, I'm just gonna reload the save state, so I might as well. Was that like two in a row of those? But uh, yeah, they're just like stacking too many layers of like BS, like into one fight. Like they could have just done like one or two things, but instead they they just like packed it all in. Then also, when he, whenever he's in the uh, the corner and he shoots, it doesn't even like. It doesn't even, like, uh, like, the thing just hits the spike. So I don't even get a chance to, like, hit it back to him. Or if I hit it back to him, the spike will block it. Where it would have hit him, but then the spike blocks it, so the hit doesn't count. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can do this. The thing is, is that, uh, I just have to play, like, super duper paranoid. Like, when I was thinking I was gonna die in one hit, or when I was gonna die in one hit, I should say... Uh, I, I played it, like, super carefully, but now that I know I can take hits... Now, uh... Now I'm kind of not being as careful. And I'm trying to be, but... Like, right here. See, that didn't count. That should have counted. It's like a Mario Maker 2, uh, spike hitbox. Could you just not, like... Like, why'd you have to put those two stupid spikes down there? Like, where all the other spikes, like, not enough? You gotta put the two corner ones that block the shot? Man, that was super lucky. Okay, let's not just run into- wow. How many does, uh, Aghanam or whatever take in the base game? Is it six? Come on, man. Oh, I can't even go up there. So it's like really hard to to land shots when you uh, hit it like diagonally. Like you have to be like straight on to have like the best shot of having the hit connect. Okay, uh, how many times did I hit him? What do you want to, yeah, I was just about to say. What do you want to bet? I still need one more. That was probably only four. And he probably takes like eight hits, not six. Man. The game has been pretty good about giving the bosses like a fair amount of HP. Oh, god damn it. Uh, okay, I'll show the successful attempt.
We're gonna have to call it after I kill him, though, because this is, like, ridiculous. I've been playing for a while. Oh my god, I got him. Thomas, there was someone controlling me. Oh man, how how cliche. Person is at the tower. You're too late with my last breath. I'll send you away to the parallel world, maybe? Yeah, is there going to be like a second uh, map, I wonder? Uh, apparently there is. Where am I? What happened? Is it going to be like a snow land? That's kind of cool. Like, the, uh, kind of reminds me of the, uh, Secret of Mana snow area. That area was, like, super pretty. Uh, this looks like the Triforce Shrine behind the castle. I remember fighting with Dragor. He said something... Something about being used by a greater evil operating behind the scenes. Brr, why is it so cold here? Uh, might this be related to the power at the tower? The village should be south of here. Maybe I can find some answers there. Okay. Oh man, got my life back. Nice. Okay, so is this like a, uh, like a, like a wintry, um, I can't read the, can't read the text? An area where it's like wintry, but it's like not supposed to be. So like everybody's like suffering and whatnot. Uh, hey, another uh, piece of heart. Cool. Okay, so... So we do have a second uh, world. And that's going to be where the... Uh, uh, we're going to do the uh, do the crystal thing, right? Where the crystal's going to go? Once we have all three key items? Like, uh, where's the where's the space for it? Oh, what's that? We have, uh, we have another uh, orb thing. What is that? I was kind of wondering what was going to be like the final thing. I thought it was going to maybe have something to do with the, uh, the parallel world. Something to let us like go back and forth between the worlds. Yeah, do we we didn't collect that why do we have that <laughs> are we gonna get to the village and be like oh you might have noticed that you have a new thing oh my gosh it's gonna be it's gonna be tricksy to like get down there ain't it okay fine I, if it was right here I was just gonna uh, just like walk down there but but uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a, a journey oh well, at least we get to start with full health but uh, yeah that boss was uh, balls uh, yeah not uh, not the most fair. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like uh, a lot of the the way they did the... I think I... I forget if I said this or not. 
or if I just thought it. But yeah, the way they did the difficulty, like, you, they could have made it harder without making it seem like bullshit. But they were just like, no, let's just go the bullshit route. All right, I better stop. If I don't stop, I'm just going to keep talking. And, uh, okay, so next time, uh, we'll make our way to the village. And I have a feeling they're just going to be like, hey, go to the one in the corner or whatever. So we'll head up there and find out what uh, shenanigans are in store for us there. So that is going to do it. Thank you very much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.